Hello listeners and welcome to our English language program Daily Current Affairs Updates 31st December 2022 This is your RJ Priyanka and without any further delay we begin our today's episode with our very first daily update which belongs to the category of obituaries PM Narendra Modi's mother Hira Bain passed away Prime Minister Narendra Modi's mother Hira Bain 100 died on December 30th in an Ahmedabad hospital. She breathed her last at approximately 3:30 a.m. She was admitted to Ahmedabad's UN Mehta Institute of Cardiology and Research Center earlier this week due to health concerns. Hira Bain Modi passed away on 30th 12 2022 at 3:30 a.m. during the treatment at UN Mehta Heart Hospital according to the medical bulletin Prime Minister Narendra Modi performed the last rites of his mother Hira Bain Modi in Gandhinagar on Friday December 30 Now let's move forward to our second daily update which belongs to the category of state Madhya Pradesh Indore gets the country's first infantry museum According to an army official the country's first infantry museum was inaugurated in Mau cantonment in Madhya Pradesh's Indore district According to him the museum will showcase the infantry corps history from 1747 to 2020 preserving the sacrifice of valor and valiant soldiers in statues murals and photo galleries He stated that the history of the battles of Plassey Saragadi Baksar and the Indo-Pak wars of 1965 and 1971 as well as the history of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj and Subhash Chandra Bose had been preserved now let's move forward to our third daily update which belongs to the category of national indian railways opens nation's longest escape tunnel in kashmir the indian railways has finished building a tunnel on a 111 km stretch of the udhampur katra railway line in kashmir the escape tunnel which is the country's longest is located at an elevation of 12.89 meters the tunnel according to railway officials was built to allow emergency response teams to carry out rescue operations in the event of an accident the fourth tunnel on the manihal katra route was built using a modern technique known as the new austrian tunneling method now let's move forward to our fourth daily update which belongs to the category of obituaries brazilian football legend pele dies at age 82 Pele a Brazilian footballer died on December 29th at the age of 82. He was battling cancer as well as kidney and heart issues. On November 29th Pele was admitted to the hospital. He had been receiving hospital care on a regular basis since September 2021 when a tumor in his colon was removed. Many consider him to be the greatest footballer of all times and he is the only player in history to have won 3 World Cups 1958, 1962 and 1970. Pele was the all-time leading scorer for the Brazilian national team with 77 goals in 92 games. Now let's move forward to our fifth daily update which belongs to the category of Obituaries Gamaka exponent and Padma Shri awardee HR Keshava Murthy passes away Padma Shri awardee and Gamaka exponent HR Keshava Murthy died at his home in the Karnataka's Shivamogga district For quite some time the 89 year old has been suffering from age related ailments Keshava Murthy was born into a Gamaka artist family his father Ramaswami Shastri provided him with his initial training he continued his studies under the supervision of Venkatesh Iyer he has received numerous awards from the state government including the Shantala Natya Shri award this year the president bestowed the Padma Shri upon him now let's move forward to our sixth daily update which belongs to the category of miscellaneous Rishabh Pant hospitalized after suffering severe injuries in car accident Rishabh Pant India's star wicketkeeper batsman was severely injured after his car collided with a divider on the Delhi Dehradun highway 
Rishabh Pant has reportedly been admitted to a hospital for treatment of head, back and foot injuries. When Rishabh Pant was transferred to the Max Hospital in Dehradun, his condition was said to be stable. In the first photos taken at the scene of the accident, Rishabh Pant's car was completely burned out. Another image shows Indian batsman Rishabh Pant with a bandage on his head and significant back injuries. Now let's move forward to our seventh daily update which belongs to the category of international. UNSC adopts first ever resolution on Myanmar. The United Nations Security Council has passed its first resolution on Myanmar in 74 years. urging the military junta to release all political prisoners including ousted leader Aung San Suu Kyi Miss Kyi 77 has been a prisoner since the army toppled her government almost 2 years ago and violently cracked down on dissent the 15 member council has long been split on how to deal with the Myanmar crisis with China and Russia arguing against strong action They both abstained from the vote along with India. Now let's move forward to our eighth daily update which belongs to the category of summits and conferences. PM Modi to inaugurate National Youth Conference in Karnataka on 12th January 2023. Karnataka Chief Minister Basavaraj Bommai announced that the Hubli Dharwar Twin Cities will host a National Youth Festival which will be inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The National Youth Festival will be organized on January 12th in connection with the birth anniversary of Swami Vivekanand and it will be inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi said Chief Minister Basavaraj Bommai Bommai said around 7500 representatives from all the states will participate in the youth festival Now let's move forward to our ninth daily update which belongs to the category of state Assam grants industry status to its tourism sector Assam state cabinet approved the proposal for the grant of industrial status to the tourism sector in Assam This is a very welcome step taken by the government of Assam which will certainly give a huge fill up to the tourism sector players as they can avail benefits like power water tariff and other taxes being levied on par with other industries and no longer at higher commercial rates said Anwar Sherpurwala secretary general of the confederation of hospitality technology and tourism industry CHATT Now let's move forward to the 10th and last daily update for today which belongs to the category of international US to provide its key patriot missile defense system to Ukraine. The United States has announced that it will provide Ukraine with its critical patriot missile defense system. This will be the first time such a defense system has been handed over to Ukraine strengthening its defense. The White House stated that the patriot missile system would be part of another 1.85 billion dollars in aid to Ukraine. The aid has been announced at a time when Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is visiting Washington to strengthen the military ties between the two countries. So with this daily update we have now come to an end of today's episode of Daily Current Affairs Updates 31st December 2022. Please stay tuned for more learning. This is your RJ Priyanka signing off for the day. Thank you.